Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to the 5 minutes talk 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 show with Irdina Hani. Our topic for today is you can change your life by changing the way you think. Ladies and gentlemen, would you believe me if I told you that your mind works the same way as how you pick your channels every day? Whatever station that you tune into, you are going to pick up that station. Let's use this as an example. If I want to watch Astro Awani, I can go to that channel. If I want to watch Talk 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 Show with Irdina Hani because I have good taste, then I can go to that channel. I want you to realize that every single moment in your life, you are tuning into some channel and you are in charge of what channel that you tune into. For instance, if I want to watch K-pop fan camps, then I need to go to Mnet. But I can't stay on National Geographic and ask, why is the fan cam not coming on? It's not coming on. It's not coming on. It's not coming on. When in reality, I need to simply grab the remote and get the channel that I want. Like this. Beep. The same goes to ourselves. If I'm feeling miserable, I need to change my channel to be happy. Now, it might sound like this illogical, weird, ooh, abracadabra magic thing, but you literally do create your own reality. Um, Dina, I have a question. Why is this topic important? Well, if we look at the statistics, 43% of young people have described social media as something that made them feel worse. Along with that, 42% of teenagers refer to social media as their cause of stress. I used to be one of those who thought that way too. As someone who have been really insecure all my life, I've been trying my best to gain my self-confidence. Especially in this era that we're living in where it's so easy to compare ourselves with the people online as if comparing ourselves to the people in real life isn't enough to make us feel bad about ourselves. Myself from like 7 years ago is a completely different person than I am now. I used to be the girl who would avoid cameras at all costs. The one who would compare her chapter 1 to somebody else's chapter 15. But everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. And everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. I'm just kidding. Everything changed when I started to change my mindset. Now, I have a very fun task for everyone who's listening today. Every single time you look at yourself in the mirror, I want you to say the words of affirmation. Try to say, Alhamdulillah, I am beautiful, I am pretty, I am handsome, and I am enough. Every single time you look in the mirror, believe me, if you say this to yourself with a sincere heart every day, your words will become action and your action will turn into a reality. Now, I have an evidence to hopefully convince you with my words, but hold up, I want to get my glasses to make myself look smarter. Do I look smarter now? Oh, but the reflection is annoying. Okay, let us look at the reticular activating system, RAS, which is the nerves in our brainstem that filters out unnecessary information and presents the stuff that is only important to you without you even noticing it. You are able to train your RAS. If you focus on the bad things, you will invite negativity into your life and vice versa. If you can hear your name in a crowd of thousands, you can also tune your brain to only focus and attract the things that matter to you. So if you have a victim mentality and you think everything is happening to me and the world is such a negative place, then you're gonna find all the ways that the world is screwed up. On the other hand, if you have a champion's mentality, you'll see that everything in the world is happening for you. If you try to find all the ways that life is beautiful, you'll find them. Oprah Winfrey once said, the way you think creates reality for yourself. So tell me, with the way that you are thinking right now at this very moment, do you think that you're going to live the life that you have always wanted one day? If your answer is no, I urge you to start shifting your mindset today. Yes, it is easier said than done and it surely requires practice, but we all could change our lives by simply taking baby steps every single day. Now, I have so much more to talk about like the law of attraction and how celebrities and successful people gain their success but due to time constraint i have to stop myself right here thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next episode of talk 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 with dina bye bye